talking to Jim Caruso, Caruso Brothers Racing. He's a pilot of this incredibly beautiful Nova right here. But, you know, he competes in the Seagas category. He does a lot of PSEA stuff, and he's probably the only one doing it with a four-speed trance. Jim, how do you do it? You're shifting, you're using a clutch. It, what a job. We're keeping really busy going on that track, you know. It's a handful. Well, you got a lot of people helping you out. You got a big crew. You mentioned that you're sort of the second generation. Yeah, my first generation is my father. He used to drive a 1940 Willys Coupe on the East Coast. And his brother, my uncle Robert, used to race a long time ago, too, on the East Coast. So they probably have a lot of valuable knowledge that they're kind of helping you out with. Yeah, my father uses a lot of the old school, um, getting a small block, uh, no adders, single carbureted, uh, four speed down the track, and low nines. And uh, I think we're one of the few doing that in this class. That's pretty sweet. Nine-second car, beautiful car. Looks every detail is just flawless. Four-speed trans. And uh, hey, you're going rounds. In fact, you're still in today. You're going into the next round, and uh, you go quite a few rounds with that PSEA crowd as well. Yeah, we usually um, usually get some good rounds in. Uh, been st sort of stumped on uh, semifinals. Can't get past that. Hopefully, we will today. Um, we qualified number one at this event, buys us a buy run next run, so we get a, a buy into the semi, so hopefully we'll go past that. Nice, nice. Number one, so right on 960 with a what? 960 with a four. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, you, you've you got some sponsors on here. What companies are involved with the Caruso Brothers race team? Uh, Magic Lamp Inn came in uh, at the beginning of the year. Sponsors uh, helped us out quite a bit. They have a restaurant in uh, Ranch Cucamonga on Phillip Boulevard great place to go for an awesome dinner. I mean, they got an excellent chef down there. Uh, they have uh, wine tasting dinners every once in a while. I try to get that information out to people, you know, at the track, stuff like that. Sounds like a great place to go. You know, you want to go out for a nice evening, that's the place to go. Yeah. Uh, we also have uh, Fuel Curve West. He's located in Upland. He takes care of our carburetors for us. Uh, been working with us for quite a while now and getting this thing dialed in and working great. And, of course, you got your family involved. Everybody's out here. And uh, what's the design company that's affiliated with you? That's my own company. I'm a civil engineer, AFM Designs, and the right pocketbook pretty much takes care of most of the expenses for this, this ride. Jim, time for us to go out and make another pass. Anybody on the team that you want to thank? Uh, my father, especially. He's the one who keeps his car rolling, spends a lot of time on it. It's a lot of maintenance for his car since it's a four-speed, and uh, he does a great job. Well, if you see this car down at the track, come on by, say hi, cheer him on. He's got a four-speed trans in a field dominated by automatics, and he's doing a great job of driving. Jim, way to go, and uh, good luck for the rest of the day. Thank you very much. Oh, one other thing I forgot is uh, my father uh, owns Pro Motor Works. He's one of our sponsors. We're also a contingency for PSCA. Uh, if he builds a full motor for you or just does a rebuild for you at the end of the season or even in the middle of the season, and uh, I, I mean, it's my dad, but I can't say I'm enough about him. He does a great job with him. Well, you know, that seems like a pretty important thing to mention. Does he have like a like a website or anything? No, we don't really have a website. He's too old school. I call him a caveman when he's on the computer. <laughs> <laughs> he's right over here. Um, What's the name of the company in the city? It's Pro Motor Works, and he's up in um, Adelanto, up near the, in the high desert. And uh, we just bought a new mag, a wet mag machine. People can come in, check their parts, make sure you know cranks, rods, all that stuff is in good working order. And uh, again, he's just really old school. I mean, he's he's able to put out a lot of horsepower in this small block. Nice. And, uh, nice. Good job. Well, hey, obviously he's doing a good job for you. So, hey, go get him. Thanks right. for taking the time. Thank you.